Hello, in this video tutorial, we're going to share with you how to manage your digital downloads from Teachers Pay Teachers, which include a link to the Google Slides. And specifically, when you are purchasing several activities embedded in Google Slides, but you're only given one Google Slide link. So we want to show you how you can use the Google Slide doc deck that you get and assign individual activities to your students without having to give them all of the slides at once. So the first thing that you're going to do is, of course, download your resource from Teachers Pay Teachers. And in my case, I saved that resource on my desktop in this folder. But you could save it anywhere, like it, within the Google Drive, if you'd like. So I'm going to go ahead and open the resource from Teachers Pay Teachers. And within the resource, you will be provided a link to access the Google Slide activities. So we're going to go ahead and click on that link and it will ask you to make a copy of your purchased activities. So we'll go ahead and make a copy. And this will save into your own drive. And the first thing that I like to do when I make a copy of something I've purchased from Teachers Pay Teachers is name that as the master so that if ever I mess something up, I can always come back and have all my activities in one place. So we're gonna name this as our master. And then from here, let's say that I don't want to assign for my students all of these activities at once. Instead, I want to assign just one activity at a time. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in and make a copy of this master. We'll click OK. And you'll notice, so we have our tab with our master activities, and now we've got a tab with our copy of the master. And I'm gonna rename this copy as activity one. This is a reminder that when I assign this for my students, I'm only going to want to assign the slides that are related to the first activity. So I will delete out any of the slides not related to activity one and wait for it to save. And then when I'm ready, I can share that with my students and all they will see is the work that they need to do for that first activity. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that out since it's saved in my drive. And I'm gonna come back, now we're back to the master. I'm going to make another copy. Click OK. And this time I'm going to name this copy as activity two so that I can keep the slides for only the second activity in this case. So I'll delete out activity one and activity three, wait for it to save, and then it's ready to assign to my students so that they only see the second activity. And you'll continue on in this fashion with however many activities you have that you would like to assign individually for students while still keeping a master that holds all of the activities. So this one will be activity three and we'll delete all of the slides not related to activity three. And that's how you save activities individually and still have a master copy with all of the activities in one spot. We hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.